Today, uh, I want to find out Lisa's number one biggest mistake she ever made in over three years of podcasting. In your whole journey, biggest mistake you ever made. Oh my goodness. It feels like I'm constantly making mistakes, like every time, like missing something that would have been good to share with them, uh, the the guests or or things like that. I'm going to have to go with being like, again, this is a mindset thing, but I was hesitant to do solo episodes. I actually really liked the guest episodes more. And so for me, and again, this is for my journey, what I'm trying to do, the purpose of my podcast, the fact that I'm a coach and I want to share certain and very specific messages about holistic productivity to the world. I think that stepping into the solo episode sooner would have been wiser, but I went at the pace that worked at the time. Cool. That that's really good. And I I agree with you, especially as a coach, Mm -hmm. somebody who works one-on-one with clients or is, or even if you just have a online um, program where you've created um, content that is charged, that if you spend that time with your listener one-on-one, that's a solo episode, then they're going to get to know you more. It's that no like trust is going to go much, much faster. And they're more likely to schedule to talk to you. They're more likely to buy into your program or whatever it is. So we can help our listener a little bit more. Yeah. If we do those solos, I love it. How about the number one best advice that you would have for the listener today? So we talk about systems and processes, things like that, you know, and the, and don't be afraid of those words. It means having a consistent way you do things and a way to track it that can be a checklist, that sort of thing. And then we talked about automation. And what I want to encourage you to understand is that this not only makes you better at what you do, but it can help you find better guests and get better content out of them. What you were mentioning before, Adam, about like sending the reminders and them being able to easily get where they need to go, right? Uh, That we're recording together and it's like, there's the link. I don't have to go searching for it. So they show up on time. They show up this concept in, in productivity that I love to talk about is is how we show up with our energy, right? And, and so it's not just about time management, it's about self-management and energy management. And so when we feel like we know what's going on, we know where our stuff is, you know how you're running out the door and you're like, oh my God, where are my keys and what do I have? And, and you you bring that stress with you. You want to do everything you can so that the guest does not bring that stress with them. They come fully present, ready to give the most with you. That's going to be the best collaborative process. And all of those things, the automation and setting up things the way that we're talking about, that's going to help you get there. 